Hello everyone, Will again here. So today on the farm, the big lads are going in with the ladies. So what I mean by that is the tups are going in for tupping time with the ewes. So it's a really big video today, one of the most important of the year actually. So the plan is what we're gonna do is get the tups all harnessed up. Um, first of all, I just gotta get them in. So plan is I'm gonna get some feed. Um, what I do is feed them basically to make it easy to get them in with the big tups, which is something we do on the farm. So yeah, that's the plan and I hope you enjoy it today guys. If you do, please give the video a massive like. If you want to see more stuff like this, just smash that subscribe button. And don't forget, videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven in the morning. Cheers guys, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Right, so what we have here is a corn and sugar beet pulp mix. So this is what we've been feeding the tubs, as corn is really expensive and sugar beet pulp is not as expensive. So that's what I've been feeding them. So we'll just get these in now. In a bit, yeah. There we go. There we right, so that's all the tubs eating away. While they are doing that, we're just going to explain exactly what we're doing. So basically, if I give this to Joseph, this is called a harness. So this is what we put on the tops. Each one has an individual color. So this one's blue. We also have orange, green, and black. So basically this goes on, be wary. on the tops chest like that. So he's not going to put it on, but basically there. So that when they mount the U's, we know that they've been tucked. That's basically what we're doing. It's just a management tool. So we know that the tops are mounting the U's and everything is going all right. Thank you for that, kind man. But yeah, as soon as they finish their grub, we're going to get them on and then we're going to get them dropped off with the ladies. <laughs> right, so that's them all eaten up. The plan is now we're going to get four of these all harnessed up. One of these is going in with the ewe lambs, so it's not actually going to get harnessed today. That's hashtag. The first one we're going to get on with is black so that's goliath they literally all have a color and if you watch the previous video to this the U's are all marked with the same color kind of helps with management it's just something i do but yeah what we gotta do now joseph's gonna catch goliath who's the biggest top and i'm gonna put the harness on so yeah we'll see how we get on Right, so, so that is them all harnessed up. As I said before, there's one that's not, so hashtag is going in with the ewe lambs. Joseph's kindly backed the trailer up for me, so just gonna open that up. And then what I'm gonna explain quickly is what I was just doing. So what we're trying to do with the harness is make sure that the rattle is down the middle. So just like that one, you see how the harness is right down the middle of the top, because if it's to one side, it'll rub him, and we really don't want that, so basically, when we're tightening them up, we just make sure that it's even and not too tight and not too loose because if it's too loose, it'll rub. And if it's too tight, it'll restrict them and they won't want to top. So that is um, what we're basically doing. We'll just load these up now and then off to the ladies. If you pull that one, that's it. That's it. We're cooking. We're cooking on gas. Go on, boys. Go on, boys. In you. Go, boys. Go on. Off you go, off you go. Good lads. Life pro. Life pro. Right, so that is the tubs loaded and ready to go. We are off to the first place with Indiana Jones. So that is in a field that we started farming this year. So the ewes are on some really nice grass. 
there. I am co-driving because I've got a bad leg. Joseph's the boss man today, so yeah, so there's four different fields with the tubs at home we put them in to separate fields because they're all pedigree and we don't want any mixed matching of the size. So one tub to about four to use. So we have three tubs going to four to use, one going to 30. If you watched the previous video to this where we fertility tested them, we had one tub that's a bit lower fertility than the rest, so you should be fine with just point to less use as advised by the vets. Well, yeah, we'll crack on and we're off to the use. Won't be long, it's about five minutes down the road and then we'll get them in and see how they get on. That is the first tub in. We're gonna leave him and just let him get on with it because if you get them all stressed out, it's not ideal. So I'm gonna drop the other three off and then we are done, guys. So we may come back to him later this evening. I'll see how I'm getting on. Well, I'll come and check him soon. I mean, I might not film this evening, but yeah. Leave him to it, see how he is tucked by soon and I'll see you in a bit. I don't really run off, do they? Come on, boy, strut your stuff. Come on, fella. Come on, the man. Yeah, come on, they're over there. That is the Irish tup all dropped off. He is a man strutting his stuff because he knows, if you look at him, he's absolute strutting his stuff. Come on, guy. He'll, oh yeah, so you spied them. He spied them. He's off. Oh man, that was a disaster. Two of the tups got out. Thankfully, we got wind back in and he didn't top anything. So that is all right. Disaster averted. Glyphson was used. We'll drop Gwyn off with where he should be and then we're done. Good boy. Good boy. Right guys, so that is all four of the tops in. As you can see, Ignite My Fire is having fun. All the ladies are already all around him. But yeah guys, these are gonna stay in now for 34 days, which is two cycles. A cycle of a U is 17 days. So what we do is leave them in for two cycles just in case they don't hold. If anything is barren, then we tend to have to get rid of them. But we always put another top. Oh, he's going for it, he's going for it. Right guys, sorry about that, but the camera stopped recording for no reason at all. I'm just in the office, but what I was about to say is the use, stay with the tub for two cycles, which is 34 days, and then we put all the use together with all the tubs, just in case there's a problem. There shouldn't be this year because we did fertility tests, as you all saw a couple of videos ago. But what we're gonna do now is skip over to the day after. I want you all to have a guess how many were topped in the first night because we're gonna go and check them the morning after now. So we'll cut back to where I was the morning after. Right guys, so it is the day after and we're back here checking how the sheep are getting on with tupping. And all those that had a guess, there has been 10 tupped overnight. There's three in every group apart from Ignite My Fire. He's over there, he's only tucked one, so he's lagging behind at the moment. But yeah guys, they're getting on really well, really happy that they've already tucked some overnight. They should take about 17 days to tuck these, like I said before. But yeah, they're all happy, they're all settled, and fingers crossed for a really good tupping period, and then we'll see how they scan. So yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed it today. The sun is out, it's finally come out. Um, all these are all looking well. Um, if you did enjoy it today guys, please give the video a massive like. If you want to see more stuff like this, just smash that subscribe button. And don't forget, videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven in the morning. Cheers from me guys, and cheers from Ignite My Fire.